Hello and welcome to our third lesson in our course on performance indices. Today, we'll be showcasing how we can use performance indices alongside Ashby charts in ANSYS Grant to EduPack during material selection. If we remember back to our basic systematic material selection course, we hinted at using a selection line during the ranking step in order to identify our top candidate materials. This is just one way of implementing a performance index. We're going to showcase three of them today. Selection lines, using our equation on our chart axis, and the performance index finder tool. Let's start with the selection lines that we hinted at in our previous course. Selection lines allow us to identify which materials maximize our performance index. The slope of our, in, of our selection line is related to our performance index when we're using charts with log axes. Let's go through our example with our rock climbing rope. Our performance index was M equals yield strength over density. So now we can use an Ashby chart of yield strength versus density to visualize this performance. But we'll need to rearrange our equation to get yield strength equals density times M. We can now take the log of both sides and using the rule that the log of the product is equal to the sum of the logs, we get log yield strength equals log density plus log m. Because we're using a chart with log axes, we can say that our equation mimics the equation for a straight line, y equals kx plus c, where k is our slope. For our example, because there's no prefactor to our log density, the slope of the line is equal to 1. Any exponent for density within our performance index would influence this prefactor and therefore influence the slope of our line. For this example, the exponent was simply 1. To implement this in Grant to EduPack, we can use our selection line tool and enter the slope. We can select to maximize M, but it's also possible to minimize or simply use for visualization purposes. Notice when we're maximizing with the line, all unsuitable materials turn gray. The second way we can use our performance indices is by plotting the equation directly in one of the chart axes. We can do this using the advanced chart function in Grant to EduPack. Simply enter your performance index expression, and we now have a bar chart with our equation as the axis. Now, to maximize our performance, we simply look for the highest values on this bar chart. This can also be used to plot two performance indices to consider multiple objectives, but that's for another course. The third and final way of implementing our performance indices in Grant to EduPack that we'll share today is by using the Performance Index Finder tool. This is an advanced software tool only available in our Level 3 databases, which are highlighted here. When creating a chart, you can select Performance Index Finder at the top. Now we can choose all of the relevant information we determined during our translation step to automatically generate the relevant performance index and use it as the axis values just like in our previous method, but by minimizing the reciprocal of M by default. And with that, we've come to the end of our lesson. We've shown three different ways of implementing our performance indices alongside our Ashby charts in Grant to EduPack. In our fourth and final lesson in this course, we're going to combine everything together and go through a case study example of our material selection alongside our performance indices for selecting the material for the deck of a longboard. My name is Dr. Caitlin Tyler. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.